right welcome back to the channel guys i hope you guys are having a great day now i asked you guys what do you guys want to see right now since modern warfare is on the brink of releasing you guys requested that you wanted to see a video on how to stop getting killed all right so I went into the lab, man, and I thought about what personally worked for me. You know, I'm just like you guys. I'm just a casual gamer. I could get sweaty if I wanted to because I've got that competitive spirit in me just naturally. Uh, but, you know, I work a nine to five, man. I'm, I'm not a full time YouTuber. But maybe one day with the help of you guys, if you subscribe right now and you're watching my videos, but you didn't know you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn it gray right now. Turn on notifications so that it will take me one step closer to making this my full time job. Job. so that would be absolutely amazing I was brainstorming some tips for you guys and I made a list of things that personally helped me get better over the years of Call of Duty and of course this is gonna be specific to Black Ops 4 and of course some tips that you could take with you going into modern warfare all right so this isn't in any particular order but I do have five key tips that will instantly help you improve and stop dying like right now all right so you should see some guaranteed instant results so first things first now the number one mistake that a lot of people do that always die is run down the middle of the map i know it seems very tempting to do because you want to join all your comrades in the middle of the action but just think about that real quick you're putting yourself in the middle of the firefight so when you put yourself in the middle of a map Let's think about it position wise. Don't you think that your chances of dying are going to be a lot higher than it would if you stuck to the outer edges of the map? And that was going to be my tip is if you're dying a lot, do not go into the middle of the map, but instead stick to the outer, outer edges of the map. You know, that way you don't die as much. And actually, it'll put you in more one on one type of gunfight confrontations, which will give you a higher percentage of winning. So it's basically a 50 50 from there. Uh, of course, you know, I'm a flanker. So that's my philosophy. I love flanking, outsmarting the enemies. You know, if you go down the middle of the map, it's just a dumb choice to make you know you're not really gonna get your score streaks as often as you'd like and not only that you might even find yourself in situations where you're doing a 1v4 you know and that's just not an optimal way to have fun in the game just in general so if you want to have fun stick to the outer edges of the map and at the same time it helps you learn the environment and the map as well it gets you familiar with the routes and that's also something I highly encourage is definitely flanking stick to the outer edges of the map and you will do a lot Lot better all right so my second tip is just a pretty much obvious one but a very very overlooked tip right here which is to utilize your mini map this is probably one of the biggest mistakes i see noobs make all the time is they ignore their mini map they totally miss out on all the tools that the mini map provides it provides three things number one it reveals enemy location when they're firing their weapon so that should tell you where the enemies are so that should decrease your chances of dying if you're ready for that gunfight because you know where they are and number two the mini map shows where your friendlies are on the map so you're asking me okay how is knowing where my friendlies are gonna stop me from dying well if you know where your friendlies are on the map let's say they all move to the middle of the map right you look at your mini map they're all on one side of the map they're all engaging in a gunfight so instantly that should click in your mind like hey if i stick to the outskirts of the map and i go the opposite way and go around and flank the enemy you should be able to get some easier kills than what your teammates are doing and at the same time your teammates are serving as bait or a distraction in theory that should make getting kills a lot easier for yourself and you should die a lot less if you want a more comprehensive breakdown of what i mean by that i will leave some links in the description or some annotations on screen that you guys can watch where i go in depth about how to predict enemy movement using your own teammates and then my best minimap tips that you guys should utilize if you guys don't really know the basics of a minimap and how to really use it to your advantage. Okay, so my third tip would be to use Intel based score streaks. Now, what I mean by this is you use the UAV, you use the counter UAV. So using the UAV is just super obvious. You're gonna expose the enemy's location on the minimap. Therefore, you should die a lot less because you know where to expect enemies to be. And then counter UAV is going to scramble the enemy's radar and it's gonna keep them guessing where you're coming from. So that just makes your approach a lot more effective because you've got the UAV and the counter UAV up at the same time. So you know where they're at and they don't know where you're at. And even if you're 
you're firing your weapon without a suppressor they still don't know where you're at because they can't see anything on the radar anyway another thing you could do is use the sparrow specialist and the recon specialist now i really like these two if you're trying to go the intel based route and it will help you stay alive a lot longer and the thing with the outrider specialist equipment is the hawk which you essentially put up in the air you park it somewhere where you know there's going to be a lot of enemy traffic it will literally expose your enemies like you're hacking you know there's going to be red squares around the enemies it's basically a wall hack and then the other one is the recon specialist now the recon specialist is really nice so basically you do get a wall hack with him as well you literally get to see everybody's movements in real time and their full body scan uh, through walls and stuff like that throughout the map so it's very helpful it helps you see where the enemies are and that should prevent you from dying a lot more and another thing i like about the recon is his sensor dart so let's say you're on a really high streak and you don't want to die you know you're so close to getting your third score streak and you're really deep in the enemy spawn a really smart thing to do would be to put a sensor dart where you think enemies are going to be that way they're going to start pinging on your radar and you know where to look because the dots are start are starting to pop up you know enemies are getting a lot closer and you'll be a lot more ready for those gunfights thus preventing you from dying so that's something i definitely recommend as well so my fourth tip is probably one of my biggest tips right here and this is applicable to almost any call of duty and that is to use a stealth suppressor type of class setup now i have many suppressor class setups on my channel and i will leave some links in the description if you need some ideas on what to do for your setup but basically having a suppressor it really changes everything because you can play one game without a suppressor and play a game with it and tell me the difference right now you know there's definitely a difference you are going to die a lot less because the enemy does not know your position on the minimap when you're firing your weapon and therefore it allows you to stay a lot stealthier and die a lot less because you're basically taking out your enemies without them even knowing that their teammates are dying especially if they're not paying attention to the minimap and they're not looking at the skulls even if they did see the skulls and they know that you're in the general area they still can't pinpoint your location because you have a suppressor on and the suppressor will definitely keep you off that minimap and good players are always looking at that minimap even myself i get caught up all the time with people using suppressors and they do catch me by surprise from time to time don't just slap on a suppressor on any weapon because there are some weapons that prove to be a lot weaker with a suppressor so definitely check out my class setups on my channel for those that are actually still a strong viable class setup even with a suppressor on and now my fifth and final tip for not dying so much is to be passive aggressive now you probably hear this all the time from every single youtuber but it is so true i I've seen personal friends, you know, in real life who play this game and just keep dying and dying, and dying. They get really frustrated because they try to just compete against the people that keep killing them. They keep getting killed because they're not being passive aggressive. You know, let's say somebody is just head glitching a window with a Titan and he's got that thermal scope on it. You know, that's just not a very smart thing to do because this person with the Titan who's got his head glitch going on is already established. He's got his line of sight established and he knows that you're going to come back so he's already aimed in lined up and ready to kill you and it doesn't help if you just keep bum rushing the guy because you're just basically feeding him easy kills the better thing to do would be to be passive aggressive forget about that gunfight man up and just move on maybe try to outsmart him and go around and flank him from behind maybe he thinks that you're gonna come back and he's just still sitting there at the window get him from behind you know that's a really good way to deal with it you know another thing is even if you get hit markers on somebody you know don't worry about it i would much rather prefer to get out of that situation if I didn't kill the guy with one clip because especially if you don't have a suppressor on and you're somewhere in the map and you're bound to get killed by his teammates you're definitely putting yourself in a bad position because you're wasting all that time trying to kill this person when you could have just been passive aggressive and moved away and removed yourself from that situation by just getting the heck out of there and just fleeing to safety so that you save yourself from an unneeded death sometimes i'm guilty of that as well where i get really frustrated i didn't kill the guy so i go ahead and chase him or i'm too busy trying trying to lock onto the guy but then he's got a teammate who's aimed at me because my location is pinging on his mini map and I'm exposing myself so that's why it should be important for you if you're in that situation to just leave get the hell out of there forget about the kill and move on so yeah guys those are my five biggest realistic tips that you guys can apply right now and see the instant results you should die a lot less and if you guys have any input on what you personally do to stay alive a lot longer i would like to hear your opinions in the comments down below i hope you guys found it helpful and as always if you did 
please leave a like on this video leaving a like goes a long way even if you don't leave a like that's cool but to all my supporters out there i really appreciate you guys dropping a like on every single video you guys know who you are and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here don't forget to turn on notification notification gang where you at man and i will see you guys in the next video peace if you're looking for a way to enhance your gaming experience check out focus by advanced it's a great supplement tastes really good no crash and it'll keep you focused give you faster reflexes and reaction time you could also use it for when you're at work studying for that test or even to get you focused for working out at the gym head on over to advanced.gg link is in the description and use my code turbo to save 10 percent if you use my code be sure to screenshot it and tweet it at me or tag me on instagram hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace